subscribe this channel for educational videos and also don't forget to press the bell icon in order to get the instant notifications of our latest stuff our first multiple access technique is fdma that is frequency division multiple access technique in fdma it assigns individual channel to an individual user so here individual user is assigned an individual channel and because of this each user is given a unique channel each user will have a unique channel which means that no other person can use that channel if that channel is even in the idle state okay so no other user can share the same channel during the period of the call no other user can share the same channel during the call okay and in this fdma system there is a term which is called as fdd that is frequency division duplexing and a free fdd system is prayer of uh, frequencies one of the frequencies is used for forward channel while the other frequency is used for the reverse channel so it is a pair of frequencies and out of this pair this one is used for forward channel the other frequency is used for the reverse channel okay and uh, your uh, frequency uh, division multiple access system will have a structure like this this diagram represents uh, uh, your frequency division multiple access scheme here uh, you see this uh, complete box is your uh, total available number of channels and uh, you divide this bandwidth into different number of channel like c1 c2 c3 and and uh, cn as and different channels uh, as you have u1 u2 u3 and un as different number of users in this case you have n number of users and each user in this case is assigned a, a unique channel and uh, they can communicate in this particular channel and uh, if they are not communicating at any time then this uh, channel will remain idle and no other user can use this uh, channel so this is a uh, kind of fdma system here the total bandwidth is divided into number of channels and each channel is given to an individual and they are bound to communicate in that particular channel only and uh, this represents your fdma system and this fdma system has uh, certain other features so features of fdma system these fdma system they carry only one phone circuit at a time so only one phone circuit is carried at a time that means they have only single channel and in the single channel only one phone circuit or one mobile station is carried at a time this is uh, the first feature of fdma system and if in fdma system a channel is not in use then it sits idle and it cannot be used by other users so it is a wasted source uh, that can be considered as its drawback so it has it has resource wastage why because if a user is not using the assigned channel then the channel sits idle and cannot be used by other users so uh, because of this issue that here you have resource wastage uh, in fdma system and also base stations and mobile stations they are transmitting continuously and simultaneously over the assignment of voice channel as soon as these base stations and mobile stations they are assigned with the voice channels they con continuously go on transmitting uh, on these voice channels so base stations and mobile stations transmit continuously and simultaneously 
over the assignment of voice channels that is also considered as one of the drawbacks of these systems and it comes under the features of FDMA and in FDMA the channel bandwidth is 30 kilohertz for a typical amp system that is American mobile uh, phone systems so in FDMA it has 30 kilohertz of bandwidth and this is for your amps mobile communication system okay and it is considered to be as a uh, narrow band and when we com compare this FDMA system with the TDMA system where we uh, divide the channels uh, in terms of time slots and uh, when we compare it with the TDMA system so it is considered to be as less complex less complex as compared to TDMA systems because in TDMA the total frequency spectrum is divided in terms of time uh, and uh, um, the users the particular users they are given some time slots and in which they can uh, communicate otherwise they cannot communicate in that particular system so that is considered to be a complex one as compared to the FDMA system so FDMA systems are less complex in comparison to TDMA and also here uh, as we see that this mobile station and base station they are transmitting continuously and simultaneously and because of that uh, this system requires few bits for the purpose of synchronization and uh, framing bits so fewer bits are needed for overhead purpose and that is for synchronization and framing bits because here uh, you are mobile station and base station they are transmitting continuously as soon as uh, they get the voice channels and uh, that's why the synchronization bits required are very less so few number of bits are required for synchronization and framing of uh, framing bits uh, further it is higher in cost than TDMA uh, because single single channel per carrier design and uh, it requires costly band pass filters which are used to eliminate spurious radiations at the base station so it is higher in cost because of uh, single channel per carrier design and we require costly band pass filters to eliminate spurious radiations at the base station and also FDMA mobile unit uses duplexers since transmission and reception operate at the same time and further these uh, FDMA based uh, mobile units or mobile stations use duplexers because transmission and reception happen at the same time okay FDMA system uses duplexer because we uh, need both transmission and reception they need to be happen at the uh, same time and further FDMA requires tight radio frequency filtering to minimize adjacent channel interference and in order to avoid the adjacent channel interference tight RF filtering is used in FDMA system tight RF filtering is used in FDMA examples of such kind of system is your amps mobile communication system that is American mobile phone system it is based on FDMA FDD that is your frequency division multiple access and that is using uh, a duplexer where you have two simplex channels which is called as FDD or uh, frequency division duplexing here a single user occupies a single channel while the call is in the progress and this single channel is having two simplex channels which are frequency duplexed uh, with 45 megahertz of the split and when a call is completed or handoff occurs the channel is vacated so that other subscriber may use it and here voice signals are having uh, forward channels and reverse channels and the technique that uh, is used for the modulation here is the NBFM that is your narrow band frequency modulation narrow band frequency modulation this is the modulation technique that we use in the this FDMA systems in FDMA systems uh, the number of channels supported 
are given by a formula n represents the number of channels equals to bt minus twice of b god divided by bc this is the formula in fdma system which is used to calculate the total number of channels supported in a fdma system and here this bt represents total spectrum or total bandwidth available this bt represents total spectrum allocation this b guard is the guard band allocated at the edge of the allocated spectrum band this b guard is the guard band allocated and when we assign a particular channel for example this is the frequency channel we assign to a particular user and on the both side of this channel we need to allocate some band and this is called as the god band this is called as the god band and it gives you the physical separation from the other channels and this needs to be given on the both sides of the of a assigned channel and this represents this b god represents this particular space or this particular frequency frequency spectrum that is assigned on the both side of each channel and then we have this bc and this represents your channel bandwidth channel bandwidth that means the bandwidth of this particular channel which is your channel bandwidth represented by this bc okay and now uh, we will see a problem on this uh, fdma based cellular system Okay, uh, I will read out this uh, problem. Uh, if a total of 12.5 megahertz radio spectrum is allocated to a typical US amps cellular operator, the edges of the allocated spectrum band are guarded with 10 kilohertz of band, and the channel bandwidth is 30 kilohertz. Find the number of channels available in an FDMA system, and here we have to find the number of channels if this particular system is using if this particular cellular system is using a, the multiple access technique as FTMA and here you have total bandwidth given as 12.5 uh, megahertz and channel bandwidth is 30 kilohertz and the guard band is 10 kilohertz okay these are the given things so here we have BT given as 12.5 megahertz and when we convert it into Hertz, it will become 12.5 into 10 raised to power 6 hertz b guard is given as 10 kilohertz so when we convert it into hertz it will become 10 into 10 raised to power 3 hertz and the third quantity that is given as channel bandwidth and it is equal to 30 kilohertz which is equal to 30 into 10 raised to power 3 hertz and now we will use this formula to calculate the number of channels as n equal to bt minus twice b guard divided by bc and here this twice b guard is used as because uh, we use guard band on the both side of a single channel so that's why we use 2 here and we multiply this guard band by the factor 2 okay and now we will substitute the values as this will become equal to 12.5 into 10 raised to power 6 minus twice of 10 into 10 raised to power 3 divided by 30 into 10 raised to power 3 and after solving this we are going to get 400 
16 and these are the total channel that are available if the system is a FDMA based one okay and this is the answer of this particular problem so there will be total uh, 416 channels okay and uh, this is all about this uh, FDMA system and in the uh, next lecture we will see the TDMA based systems.